Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we have some monster high news to talk about from the full reveal stock photos having come out for the upcoming Collector Jack and Sa Sally 2 pack to the new episode breakdown where we get to see G3 Skeleta make her big debut and more. So stay tuned and let's get into so it. So Mattel Creations and Monster High shared the full reveal via a reel uh, to their Instagram accounts respectively. And it showcases the, you know, two dolls kind of like like stop motion uh meeting up atop the hill where obviously that's where they meet in the movie and they have that huge song and it's just a really memorable scene so this little clip is so cute i really it's even better because the actual movie is stop motion animation so like this short clip also being done stop motion wise it's just perfect as per usual there's now a countdown on mattel creations for the release of these collector two pack here so let's read the articles on mattel creations it says true love never dies we're celebrating halloween with the cutest couple of haunts jack skellington and sally our delightful duo is dying to be in your collection Disney's Pumpkin King. Our team had loads of fun recreating Jack's look. His pinstripe tuxedo with bat bow tie is the perfect outfit for a monarch of the ghosts and ghoulies. Stitched to the nines, we updated Sally's patchwork dress with a spiderweb lace hem to show off her potion bottle heels. Her purse is a spool of threads in case she needs to patch herself up. And I was wondering why they gave her a purse as an accessory, uh, because it just feels like a throwaway item i much rather i feel like they would have included uh zero here instead of a purse or maybe zero as well i mean you are paying 90 bucks so i feel like you know a, a pet accessory like that would have been really fun um but that's, that's the only accessory like the purse is the only accessory and i don't even think it's a new mold i think it's a reused mold of the previous um that was used for the Frankenstein Cinderella, Frederella doll, right? So it's not even a new mold. So, but it makes sense, I guess, canonically, right? Uh, that she would need it for to stitch herself up. So I don't mind. <laughs> Frighteningly fabulous. The special packaging starts with the illustrated outer sleeve. Once you slide that off, the dolls are displayed on a background behind a hollow foil decal. And of course, I think for them to have a unique packaging design makes sense because they're not just collector dolls. They're also celebrating the actual movie's 30th anniversary, right? So it's like a special occasion. Uh, but I do think that for a lot of people who are completionists, especially with these collector dolls so far, who have all this collector dolls so far, um, this packaging not matching up with the other packaging alongside with the Annabelle doll will probably um, be annoying at the very least. <laughs> From lead designer Rebecca Shipman, I can't believe we finally got to partner with Tim Burton and Disney. Creating Monster High versions of these beloved characters is truly a scream come true. What history do you have with Jack and Sally's characters? I I've loved these characters in this movie for so long. Seeing them together in this beautiful packaging makes my black heart so happy. What details make you scream with delight? Quote, my favorite part of this project was probably working with our different incredibly talented teams. The sculpting team created Jack's articulated skeleton body in doll form. Our soft goods team created a suit for Jack's very slim frame and transformed Sally's iconic patchwork dress into an evening gown. I also loved watching our team paint Sally's hauntingly beautiful face and style her gorgeous long red hair. That was very interesting. It's always it's always very interesting to hear the, you know, designer's perspective and experience on working on a product, especially with Re Rebecca, who's done so much already. Uh, just hearing about all the details that went into the creating of these dolls with the careful consideration of these sketches uh, and just all these little details that they have to keep in mind. Like, it really just is like this is a real you can feel like it is th there was care put into this two pack okay you know? so let's take a closer look at these stock photos now these newer stock photos that highlight the individual dolls starting off with sally so as we now have uh, you know seen uh the dress is actually not supposed to be a one-to-one -one replica of her original dress it's supposed to be like a higher 
you know, like a leveled up version of her original dress, just like a evening gown take on it, right? So that makes sense to me. I didn't know that. So to me, it, it did feel like it looked like the original dress, but it was different. So that makes sense. That's why it's also longer. It has a, it has a, you know, lace uh, trim at the bottom. Um, it gives that flair. Uh, the puff sleeves too, I didn't notice, but that's really nice. And I do like the little, the, the prints on the different spots. Um, I don't know if the skelet icon is really needed to be right there smack in the middle. I mean, I get that they want to make it obvious that this is like a Monster High product, like Mattel Monster High, but I feel like you can already tell that by just the doll itself. Like the people know, like I feel like Monster High fans know this is a, like people know, like the body is a Monster High doll. So, um, even if she looks different, but I, so I don't, I don't really know why they have to put that. I just don't, I really, I don't feel like it adds anything. <laughs> it's a little bit like, I feel like that would have been better off, but, um, I do get that they want to add more color, I guess. And the blue fit in the blue, I guess, green teal. Uh, but yeah, I, I think the dress is fine. I just, I, I see what they were trying to do with the lace trim, but the fact that it just ends up looking like a mermaid silhouette, you know, like the gown portion, portion, it's just so overdone. And we've seen this done, you know, over time, over time, like with six dolls now, they've had the same silhouette, you know, like of the, the flare at the bottom. It's always the same thing. And I just feel like I'm, t I'm tired. Like, are, are we not tired of seeing the same thing happening with different dolls so far? Especially, it's really just mainly Mattel. Um, I mean, MJ also had that problem with, you know, Maria and Roxy. They both had, they both had the same dress silhouette. But, you know, it's really, it's an issue. Like, it really, it's starting to become like an actual, like, like, it's just not nice. It's just, it really, it's, it just, it's so obvious, right? Um, and I feel like if it's done well, it wouldn't matter. But here, it's just, I don't know, it's its cute, but like, does it really add a lot? Like, I feel like if it was perhaps done differently, the silhouettes, maybe it would have looked better. But I guess the mermaid silhouette is just so simple and easy to do. That's why they keep doing it. So I understand why. But from a creative perspective, like, I just wish they would come up with something else where more creative <laughs> but overall i mean aside for the dress i do think the actual doll itself with the stitching uh the unique face screening uh the expression the hair it's she's i mean she is gorgeous like she is really pretty so um, i like the details with the kitty earrings her headband the bow um the thistles are at the top the shoes with the bottle the bottle potion um pills heels like the the heel portion that I, I, I feel that that's all really nice um and then really just the dress and perhaps the purse i don't know i don't like that it's a reused mold just because like i feel like it's 90 bucks you you could throw in a new mold like i understand but like come on come, like come on <laughs> then of course we have the pumpkin king himself we have jack skellington sporting a brand new body sculpt it seems it's a it's a new sculpt right it is i mean there's we haven't seen a previous boy skeleton doll come out from monster high so this is the first first ever uh and uh, i'm that's really what draws me in the most it's like i want to see the articulation the way it's done like i'm very curious to see how the body actually looks like um because obviously again we only have skeleta who's like a skeleton who has like a unique body like this and then now we have jack which i guess makes him even more um, exclusive because he is also like debuting a first ever body sculpt, which yeah, will probably make him even more expensive on reseller sites. So that's yay. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's, that's one thing that really is really fun to me. Like that's really cool. Um, then I noticed that he has, he only has four fingers. Now, I don't know if it's like accurate i think it is because obviously they created a whole new body scope they're not going to get that wrong but uh it's just i never noticed that i guess like does he does he really only have four fingers in the movie like i never i never noticed that but like i feel like it's a little bit obvious here on the doll and i mean obvious like in a way that it just sticks out to me i don't know it just it's I, off it just looks off like he just it just like the way the thumb is posed and like the the fingers like i just i don't know like it looks good from the sides but from the front you can just tell like there's like 
something missing. Uh, <laughs> that's like such a small thing. The actual outfit, I'm very curious to see um, how many pieces this is. Actually, the outfit, like the jacket is a separate piece, I'm assuming. Um, but then the uh, orange black striped vest is that attached to the white shirt underneath is that two pieces um how far does it go does it have sleeves that white shirt or is it like sleeveless um and the trousers like is it like what, what kind of material are we talking here i do like the little like the the strips coming down on his coattails that's really fun um and i feel like the addition of the skulls, i guess the skull um icons are all across his suit and you know pinstripe pants like i feel like that is a good addition but with the vest being orange um i'm not sure if i love the orange i see what they were trying to do they were trying to match him with sally's orange hair um and her more lively colors in her dress but i feel like the orange while it does kind of tie into the hair for sally um I don't know if it works for him like i just jack is a very black and white kind of guy you know he doesn't wear a lot of colors so um i don't know maybe i guess orange makes the most sense because it's a halloween color but um maybe like a different shade maybe like a lighter shade um or maybe like a or just orange i don't know i don't know if i like the black and orange stripes you know like i feel like that's maybe too many prints going on but um it's fine i feel like it's fine it's not like a real issue um the bow tie is definitely really cool um and then the head obviously the head duh that looks amazing it's a new sculpt as well the expression is on point um i think the eyes maybe are a little too big like if you really compare um but overall the proportions are pretty solid like they're really well done and the packaging as well i mean the box is different like i mentioned earlier and i like the description here on the back it reads true love never dies debuting in the fan favorite film disney tim burton's the nightmare before christmas pumpkin kings jack skellington and dreamer sally embark on a wild misadventure that captures the spirit of halloween christmas and true love this collector doll pack celebrates the moments that jack and sally realize they're meant to be together forever dressed in a bespoke suit with frightening skeleton print jack is ready for a haunting night with sally who's dressed in a creeptastic off-shoulder dress with a petrifying patrick print this delightful collector item captures the nightmarish fun that awaits every night in halloween town so yeah i feel like this set the packaging design makes sense for the the, the movie the celebration anniversary right uh, even if it doesn't fit in with the other collector releases this is definitely like more of a unique release even collector even collector wise like i feel like this is just like a like a very um special release just because of the movie anniversary and just because it's like a disney tim burton like it's like it's like really it's a big deal so i wonder if next we'll get like if we'll ever get like a corpse bride collector doll of emily like i would die i would actually try to get her if that ever happens because like with this one this this pack with 90 bucks it's really expensive you're getting two dolls two stands a purse um and of course full outfits but like that's that's it you're not getting any other accessories like i feel like at the very least they could have included zero like at the very least and that would have been like like just a chunk of plastic like it wouldn't have been anything special but like at least zero you know like i include him i just feel like nowadays with the most recent collector releases all they include is like a purse and maybe if you're lucky like another accessory like with annabelle she got like a little note and a purse but that's it you know like there's nothing else like with chucky there was a purse and oh yeah i guess chucky had a knife but like there's nothing else you know what i mean like there's nothing else like I, at least with greta she had the little um gremlin figure you know like the gremlin figure that was really fun with um the beetlejuice you know f dolls the lydia i don't remember but they had they had accessories like i feel like now with the most recent collector releases um 
the accessories have been very sparse. And obviously, I get that with this. You're also they're also paying. Um, you're also paying for the licensing for Disney, the trademark, the actual trademark for the movie. Um, and I get that. Like that's why it's expensive. But even then, like they could have still included like included like Zero as a little figurine, um, and that at least would have made it feel a little bit more like, oh yeah, you know, at least you're getting like a full package deal here with Zero as well. But like I feel like I guess it's just it's just really. Um, it depends on your experience and your attachment to this pack. If you love the movie, if you're an actual fan of the characters, then yeah, this is worth the 90 bucks. If I, I mean, I'm I'm assuming I don't. I watched the movie like once, maybe like a very long time ago. I don't remember a lot of it, a lot of it. So I should probably rewatch re it because it is a very good movie um but like for me i don't really have any attachment to the characters so for me i look at this from a like really just from a um like outside perspective like is this really like there's no nostalgia here for me like like is this really worth it so it really depends on your attachment your experience with this with the brand with this uh with this world of nightmare before christmas um and if you're willing to pay that price and uh I mean, if you're a Disney fan, if you're a fan of this movie, so if if you if you think it's worth it, then there you go. There's your answer. So, but I think it's a good set. It's just it's still expensive to me. Like I still think it's just not like what the dolls are wearing, uh, even with the new body sculpt and the head for Jack. Even then, like I feel like this is not worth ninety. But I I do appreciate the execution, the packaging, and I feel like it's a it's a very it's they did a very good job. And I I definitely like if they make a corpse bride collector doll like that's to me yes please because i have i actually have attachment to that movie so that would be amazing but like for this um it's good for what it is and i'm happy that they did it and i'm happy for anyone who be who is going to be able to um you know get their hands on it hopefully because as we all know you know these collector dolls always sell out in minutes it's Let's horrible it really the episode is. breakdown for so fierce where we get to see g3 skeleta make her big debut so essentially skeleta encounters frankie down in a catacombs uh because frankie accidentally throws her uh a bone to her head because she's playing with you know watsy and mortimer um in the basement i actually don't know why frankie's down there but okay uh, so skeleta explains uh she's a fashion fashion designer so and she is there to collect some materials some fabrics for the contest that she's gonna you know enter because her grandma you know she's from hexaco i love the word pun by the way uh she's a really good designer a fashion designer and she's really inspired by her work and she learned so much from her but she never won in the contest so her grandma so that's why skeleta is now entering in her honor so they collect the fabrics but mortimer is a little bit you know he he he's angry because as we'll see uh skeleta, skeleta also accidentally took something that was very personal to him so this is skeleta's room she explains that this is a macrame a technique of um like knotting and creating like a like almost like weaving uh, i believe but it, she, it's like very it's a very tedious process she explains to create it and it's very it look it ends up looking very um beautiful but it just takes time so apparently her grandma is a very well versed in that uh, area and so she's very inspired again these are her, these are actually her own designs and she ends up using the new fabric as well and she asks frankie to be uh her model you know for the the dress so the next day, it's very hot for whatever reason in Monster High. Everyone's sweating, and then Skeleta goes to look for Frankie Stein to model uh, the dress. And that's when we sh then she asks Laguna where uh, Frankie is. And I like how Skeleta says hola to Laguna, but then she says hi to Draculaura. It just shows that because, you know, Skeleta and Laguna, they're both, you know, Spanish speaking. Um, I just like that they have that you know, in common, and they just, I, it's a small thing. So Skeleta is in the cafeteria. she finds them, all these people hanging around the fridge because it's really warm, and Frankie is in the kitchen cooking for, bake, baking for whatever reason. Uh, so Frankie, you know, Skeleta, they go to, uh, they wanted to go model, but then Watsi steals the dress because apparently Mortimer um, is the one who's actually heating a monster high. He's creating the heat because he's very angry that Skeleta took away the fabric that 
she used on her dress and so he gets it back and accidentally also chars her dress in the process but she realizes that because she was trying so hard to honor her grandma maybe she was just supposed to you know do her own thing and honor her in that way and so she ends up reusing the charred bits by creating her own design uh, and so she gets Frankie to help you know getting a ton of different things from other students and at the very end here we have the completed outfit that Frankie is modeling it's so super cute and we get to see her grandma as well she apologizes to her that you know again she wasn't able to create her honor her uh by creating her you know design faithfully it's like more important to come into your own as a designer um and create your own things and that's and by doing that you're also still carrying on the family legacy so very cute little moment um and then at the very end we get some photo shoots a uh, photo shoot moments between frankie and Scalita, <laughs> and she uploads the pictures to the contest and hopefully she'll win and that was the video i hope y'all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and become a member today so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the all tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy Kisses.